Hello everyone, bonjour, or uh, uh, bonsoir. It's very late right now. Um, so this video is kind of a recap of uh, my experience with the first few days of the cycle, the first cycle of last epoch, as well as a build guide for the guide uh, for the build I'm doing. <clears throat> and so um, I started as a duo with Bina in the first day. We couldn't play like for our, I think around six hours. Uh, we tried to race to 100, um, but yeah, I, I was too tired, Bina was too tired after, uh, I think, 20 hours of streaming, so we stopped. Uh, I think he went back a few hours later, but uh, yeah, for me it was <laughs> way too much, uh, and so uh, I decided to stop the race and just take it chill, trying to find like a fun build to play with, and so I ended up with uh, this character. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty stupid, right? Um, so this is the build I'm doing, a mix between Exploding Ballista and Dive Bomb. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want the AoE of Exploding Ballista, like one-shotting everything in, uh, or like two, three-shotting everything in, uh, in Echoes, while still having like the crazy scaling of single target of Dive Bomb. And to do this, um, I proc Ballista from uh, Explosive Trap, but I still use a bow, uh, and I want to proc it using a bow. And so uh, it's going to cost me a lot of mana, like 16 mana at the moment. And it also buff the penetration, so it's, it basically buff my, my minion at the same time. Uh, so you cannot see, but at the bottom, I'm hovering over like Sky Signal and this one. Those are the two nodes that buff your minion. <clears throat> and uh, Ballista, so classic stuff, exploding Ballista, boom, you pick that, you pick that, you pick that. Two points in there too, to reduce the mana cost. Uh, Falconry. So we don't see, but at the bottom right, I have, uh, I have a node that I took. This one, this one are important. All of those that gives more multi. This one as well. And this one. So all of this is to build the damage. This is also to gain back the mana. And a bit of health every time it, it hits. Uh, a boss or rare or kill an enemy. Uh, smoke bomb. So I use smoke bomb on bosses. But whenever I'm not bossing, I respect to sh shift... And shift, I uh, I go for like invulnerability, the movement speed, I max the mana back, uh, and the healing as well. So I go boom, 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 then the healing, and then two points in the dodge. Uh, and lastly, in dive bomb, so dive bomb, you want to reduce the mana cost to zero. You also want to put like max point in this, so the the cooldown goes to like literally two seconds when you spam your explosive trap. I'm speaking into smoke bomb duration for uh, the shadow falcon. Uh, I also pick up a node in the bottom right that you cannot see. Um, so basically, whenever I generate shadows with my smoke bomb, thanks to this. There are going to be uh, Shadow Falcon coming from my shadows. And uh, if I put the smoke bomb inside, um, like in the melee in range of uh, the boss, they are going to hit like multiple times. So two times per Shadow Falcon. So, that la so that's like six extra hits. So, but each hit is like dealing 75% of the damage. <laughs> That's insane damage if you if you have like good placement with your smoke bomb. You can like destroy bosses with that. And then it's purely like damage, damage. And I think delay you need like two or three points at minimum. So that's for uh, the skill, the passive tree. I go for like dexterity, all the dexterity I can. <laughs> Um, 
Oh, I actually need to re to refund that. Uh, the uh, haste on it. The mana regen here is important. Uh, the damage, like that crit damage, dexterity, dexterity, crit, crit multi, crit multi. No, it's health on crit. This, that's for the regen, very important. Instant cast. The silver shroud, whenever I use my ability, I put two points because I put my uh, shift on my second ability. If it was my first ability and my hotbar, I would only have put one point in. I'm so used to having it in the second position. Uh, marksman, um, so dexterity again, but also crit vulnerability, and then dexterity here. So yeah, I would like remove those four points and put it in here. Okay, what else? What else? Uh, the gear. So the gear, <laughs> you want as much uh, mana regen as possible. So right now I'm at 23 mana regen. But uh, before it was, I was at like eight, 19, 17. And so when I, when I was like lower mana regen, I would actually remove that point. The trap drop chance that had like 11 mana cost. This is like so much mana cost. You probably don't need it. Uh, and yeah, for, for the gear, it's like dexterity, uh, mana regen, then health, resistance, uh, endurance percent. Um, yeah, plus two to explosive trap is kind of important here. You want to pick up the mountain to cap the crit chance of your uh, falcon and your ballista. Uh, you want this quiver uh, in terms of base, the one that gives crit multi. You want crit multi also uh, on the relic and the amulet. And then you want crit multi on the bow. I didn't hit the bow that I wanted to hit. This is the bow that uh, I like. I wanted to uh, get like the two prefix. So hybrid, crit, and uh, attack speed. And crit multi. This is the bow I had before switching to this uh, legendary. And as you can see, I had like uh, a T6, I believe. Yeah. T6, uh, hybrid crit multi attack speed and uh, crit multi. Yeah. You, you see the base of the base of this bow has a lot of crit multi and a lot of crit chance. The reason why crit multi is very important is all of, because of the node in the top, the bottom right that you cannot see, is you, you convert, basically you, you always have that maxed out because you have a lot of crit chance. And you multiply your crit chance by 2.5 and you give it to the Falcon. Then you have 75% of your increase damage, uh, which is the highest between melee damage, throwing damage or bow damage, the highest between the three that is converted to the Falcon. Same for the crit chance and a flat crit. And then the flat damage, this is uh, also very, very huge. You convert 300% of your flat damage if you have max stat to the Falcon. So you have so many ways to scale damage in this build. <clears throat> and so uh, on bosses, what I might do is put the Morning Frost because I don't have the gear necessary to have Morning Frost all the time. Uh, but this would be like so insane uh, if I could like have it all the time. And it gives me a uh, hundred extra flat damage. So I have like 60 flat um, plus... One here, two here. Yeah, I don't have a lot of flat, as you can see. And uh, that 163 uh, flat gets multiplied by three, and then convert it, uh, and then give to uh, the uh, the falcon. So that's a lot. Uh, that bow also gives a hundred flat to the the minion, plus the level of skills. Which is really nice. Uh, bow damage, which gets converted. Like, I don't have a lot of, like, if you look at my increased damage, I don't have a lot of increased damage. But it's enough for the build. And yeah, uh, I, I gotta say also this relic right here, the 5 health on crit. Since I'm critting all the time with my bow, it's really, really nice uh, to get health all the time. Because you're gonna get health whenever your minions crit, so whenever my ballista crit in AoE, every single crit is gonna give me a 21 health, I believe. Yep. 
as well as my falcon. But having an extra way to regen a health is, is kind of nice. You also have the marksman this. But yeah. And uh, let me show you how it looks like. Okay. So let me show how it looks. So you just spam your explosive trap. And you see it goes down very fast, but it also goes up super fast at the same time. And every time it procs multiple ballista, it's gonna make them explode. That's the clear. And yeah, I also use my dive bomb. Boom. Doesn't cost any mana. And it's gonna like destroy like single target, like on rares or mini bosses. Let me show you another one because this one is very short. So you see the, the range is insane, and as I'm going to go up in terms of uh, gearing, with even more dexterity... Okay, come back here. Yo, 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 yo. As I go up in terms of dexterity, it's going to be uh, even more AoE when my ballista explodes, because the AoE scale with dexterity as well as the damage. Yeah. Okay, uh, the other one here... Okay, that. <laughs> but that's a good point. The build, uh, the way I, pl I put it at the moment, is kind of squishy. Even though I have three K health uh, and a bit of uh, endurance, it is not a build with a lot of EHP. Uh, you can build it towards EHP, but I, I don't think it's going to be like an insane uh, defensive build. It's mostly for uh, blowing up the screen and one shooting bosses. It's more like last cannon play style. And uh, yeah, you should definitely take that into account. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. This is 354 corruption. And you have builds that are like so much tankier than mine. Wouldn't even die to this. I just find the play style really, really fun. And I build mostly for quality of life and damage first before like defenses. Uh, obviously, like once I get to legendaries, <laughs> I'll put more thought into defenses. But uh, yeah. For the moment, soft core. You can definitely up the, the defense, by the way. Um, on this build, it's just that you wouldn't really uh, put as much emphasis on like uh, dexterity on the gear, for example, uh, or uh, like the, uh, what is it? The mana regen, because you need a lot of mana regen for this build to function. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any question, I'm going to have the uh, planner with my current gear in the description. And uh, yeah, just feel free to ask me in the comment section or uh, on Twitch. I'll be streaming every single day for two weeks at the very least. Yeah. Thank you for watching and bye bye.